Now, Senator, we've been, we've been doing this thing on the show, a late, late show and tell. We've been asking our guests to share something from their home or wherever they are that we may otherwise never get to see. Do you have anything you would like to share with us this evening? I, I, I knew this question was coming, so I sort of a few things. But as I'm talking, the first thing I just want to do is like move this over and show you a map. Oh, uh, that was that. the first map in, in the first campaign I ever ran for a city council seat. I was in my 20s, running to be the youngest person ever elected in my city. We eventually won. That's the actual map I used. And I, I keep it with me everywhere because I never want to forget uh, the people that first put their faith in me and that I got in politics to serve. That's one of the poorer census tracts at the time in our nation. Uh, I still lived there 10 years ago, even the median income was about uh, uh, $14,000 per household. But if anything, we don't mistake wealth with worth in our in, our, in the central ward. Yeah. And I got in fight for the nobility, the dignity, the, they, they put their faith in me. I never want to forget while I got in politics. So I keep that around and I'm proud to still live it there. And I'm proud of that the people believed in me enough to give me a shot to represent them. Not only that, that was, I'm going to go so far as to say that was the most deft camera work we've seen <laughs> since we've well, been I've, doing the show in the garage. I've never <laughs> so, seen well, I'm such up for, a... I'm up for re-election. If I don't win my re-election, you I hope you'll do your job. yourself in the frame and everything. <laughs> Thank you. But so this, is, oh, this has also been on my desk, by the way. It's my favorite hero from American oh, history. Oh, wow. Harriet Tubman, uh, I think she models, you know, she was safe and secure. She got herself out of slavery and then 19 times kept going back to try to uh, realize that she could never be free until everyone is. Thank you so much for sharing those. Reggie, do you have a, a question for our guest this evening? I do. Uh, tonight's question goes to uh, Mr. Booker. Okay, here we go. Uh, if you had a choice would you want to be able to communicate clearly with eagles or cats so i mean the the the, the, the ridiculous thing about that is that right now i should be like american politician the <laughs> mighty eagle but i'm not choosing the eagle first of all i think it's one of those things that like you know never meet your heroes you never right. know you know i what if they what if eagles turn out to be just smug you know, bastards who are just mean. <laughs> I mean, I would be disappointed. So cats, I already have, you know, certain expectations because they often act like smug creatures. Yes. Like I, I have low expectations. And especially when you say cats, I'm going to interpret it in the broadest sense of the word that I can talk to the cats I meet all the time when I go around, but I could also like go out and talk to like a panther or a puma. Oh, look at this. Well. Reg, is that correct? I'm sorry to say, but that is correct. It's absolutely correct. Yes, Thank you yes. so much for being here. We could talk to you all day. I, I really, really enjoyed spending this time with you. Thank you for, for making the time for the show. Senator Cory Booker, everybody.